Israel in the Old Testament understood this. You know, they had the Day of Atonement. All right? One given day. The Day of Atonement called Yom Kippur in the Hebrew. The whole nation would gather on that day for the atonement of their sins. And there were two goats that were used by the high priest. The blood of one goat was sprinkled on the altar. But the other goat, what about the other goat? The priest went to, to that other goat, laid hands on the head of that goat, and as it were, laid the people's sins on the head of that goat. And then he confessed the people's sins on the head of that goat. Right? And the goat was then, that goat was then taken out and sent into the wilderness. Sent into the wilderness so far that it could never ever find its way back. Watch this. That symbolized the taking of sin and sending it away where it would never ever be seen again. Glory to God. Are you getting the picture? Two goats were taken. One goat's blood was killed and sprinkled on the altar. Was killed. The other goat was taken. The high priest laid his hands you know, on the goat. And when he laid his hands on the goat, he laid the sins of the entire nation of Israel for that entire year on that goat. All right? And then he would confess the sins of all the people of Israel for that entire one year on the head of that goat. After that was done, they would take that goat away and send it into the wilderness so far that it could never return again. That is symbolic of the taking of sin and sending it away where it would never, ever return again. Now wait, let me show you, let me show you. What does this mean? Beloved, my brothers and sisters, that is exactly the word used here for forgiveness. It is the Greek word, afiyamai. The word afiyamai means to send away, never to return. The Greek word afiyamai. The word afiyamai means to send away, never to return. This is going to free you once and forever today. My goodness, your life will never more be the same again. Because once you know that you don't go on repeating what you've already confessed. People still live as if they are connected to their sins. They are still saying, but brother, you don't know. You know, I did all these things. Yeah, you did it. Did you confess it? Yes, brother, I confess it. But you know, it's still there. It's still in my head. It's still in my head. Well, let me tell you, it doesn't matter if it's in your head. In the, in the mind of God, he said, I have sent it so far away, it cannot come back. Uh-oh, you're not ready for that as yet. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. Our sins then have been sent so far away, it can never, ever return to you again. Listen, when the high priest laid the sins of the entire nation of Israel on that goat and confessed all their sins on the head of that goat, they sent the goat so far away that in no way it could ever find its way back. And God is trying to tell us every sin that you have ever committed, I have sent it so far away that you can never ever see that sin again in your life. 